Welcome to DashboardSymbols.com. Here we update replacing the dead battery in a second generation Lexus key fob with a fresh one. Adding changes to how we handle a new battery. We will need either the tip of the mechanical key or the tip of a very small screwdriver. We will also need a new CR2032 battery. Note that the process in some Toyota key fobs will be similar. We want to split the fob into its two halves and we'll need to remove the mechanical key to start. Look for this release lever at the bottom of one side of the fob. Push the bottom of the lever and pull on the key ring and you have the key. Now locate this thin slot dead center in the space now exposed as shown. Twist the tip of the key or the screwdriver in the slot and the two halves separate. The circuit board is now exposed and is loose. Remove it. It will make getting at the battery a little bit easier. The battery's markings are up and it is the CR2032. We'll need the tip of the screwdriver again to get beneath it and it comes away easily. Return the circuit board with the battery end towards the keyring end and the battery space up. A new battery snaps in easily starting beneath the two plastic protrusions shown. Make sure the markings are up and push it fully into place. Don't forget to peel the backing off the new battery if there is one. We are using a lens cleaning cloth to keep skin oils off the new battery, but be careful, it can be quite slippery in the cloth. If you make a final move of the finger, wipe the battery down once again. The two halves of the fob snap back together easily, starting from the bottom. Return the mechanical key, and then test the locks, and you'll be ready to go. For help with other push-button or keyless start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel or go to DashboardSymbols.com.